In this video, I'm going to show you how you can copy automatically all the messages sent in a Discord channel to another Discord channel in a different server. This video might be a little all over the place, but I hope that you can follow along with me. We're going to be using this service called Zapier.com. Zapier, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Zapier.com. Just go to that website and create an account. Once you have an account created in Zapier, the first thing that I'm going to do is connect my Discord servers. So I'm going to go here to my apps. I'm using this Opera browser and on this Opera browser, I'm logged in with one user. Then I'm going to go to Chrome where I'm logged in with another user. Discord user that is and each user is an owner of a different server so I'm going to connect like two people two different owners so I'm going to click here add a connection I'm going to search for discord there we go this is going to add the Zapier bot in your server and I'm doing this with this user Tommy I'm going to send it here connect yes yes whatever authorize Okay, so we have a first connection. Now I'm going to add a second account and I'm going to do it from Chrome. Whatever, I'm just using two browsers, right? Here I am now using Chrome where I'm logged in with another user in the same Zapier account. And I'm going to add the other user to this Zapier account. So I'm going to go to my apps and I'm going to add a connection, Discord. And as you can see, this is another account because I'm Chrome. I'm logged in with another Discord user. So I'm going to add it to this server, All right? Administrator, whatever, authorize. Okay, so as you can see here on my connections, I have two different Discord servers connected. The Tommy Boy one and the No Intro one. Okay, so now let's go to my SAPs and I'm going to create a new SAP. You don't have to create it from scratch. After I make it, I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can just use the template. The only thing that you need to make sure is that you have the two Discord accounts connected. So I'm going to click here, make a new SAP, search for apps, Discord, click here. On trigger event, I'm going to choose an event, which is new message posted on channel to channel. So whenever someone posts a message to that channel that I'm going to select, then do something, send it to the other Discord. So I'm going to choose an account and this is going to come from the no intro tutorial server. I'm going to click continue. And now that I selected the server, I'm going to pick the channel in that server, right? So let's say uh, which one you can just choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to do what bot commands. Here we go. So whenever a message is sent on bot commands, then send it to the other one, right? So I just selected that one. So I'm going to test the trigger. Testing the trigger means that this is going to read messages, right? Because this is the part where he reads the messages. So I'm going to just test that I can read the messages. Basically, that's what this is telling us. And as you can see, the last message is test message that I sent and it comes from my username. So basically it said, hey, we were able to actually read. If I go to bot commands, you see that this is the last message, right? So basically this is saying I was able to do it, right? So we'll get continue. And now I'm going for the second part, which is Discord as well. So I'm going to choose Discord and I'm going to choose the event. The event is to send a message. So when you read a new message from that channel, then send a new message to the other channel. So I'm going to click continue. I'm going to choose the account, which is going to be the second server, the Tommy one. Here we go. Hit continue as well. Now I'm going to select the channel where I want the copied messages to be sent to. I'm going to just choose general and here message text. I'm just going to select the part that I wanted to copy, which is going to be the text. I wanted to copy the text of the message, right? The content. So what this thing is going to send, it's only going to be the content of the message, which is like what you send. But if you wanted to include something else then you click on it and then you have all these options available, you have the options to send the attachment that message had, the name, the username, that person, um, the ID of the user or the message, um, any embeds that it included, um, mentions, you know, like you can select basically the part it's just like a like a Lego thing you just like build the whole thing so you want the username the content the time that it was sent anything I just want the message so I'm just gonna leave that right here you can choose the name of the quote-unquote bot that is going to send the message you can do a custom one like bro it's just gonna go with like bro bot but you can actually choose to select the name of the username of the person who sent that message so if you click here author username then the name of the person who sent that message is going to be the name of the bot thing. All right. 
and bot icon right here this is going to be the profile picture of the bot that sends the copied message unfortunately you cannot choose the profile picture of the person who sent the message because um, it's just formatted differently so you will have to go with a general one if you leave it blank it's just gonna be the default discord icon but you can choose anything uh, let's say I'm just gonna choose this spongebob thing it's so weird anyways um if you want to choose any image just right click on it then copy image address and then you can just paste the URL of that picture. I'm gonna hit continue. And now we're going to test this setup to make sure that it's working. Let's go first to that general channel and see what's there. There's nothing here, you see general, it's completely empty. So now let's go ahead and test it so that you can see how it will look. I'm gonna click test and continue. A channel message was sent to Discord in about. Let's go ahead and check that channel. And as you can see, here it is. It got the message. It got the username of the person who sent the message, which was me. Um, here we go. But it didn't get the profile picture. That's like the only drawback. If I send any other message, like, bruh, it's going to send another one of these with the bruh message as well. It normally takes a little while, about a minute. So I'll be explaining you a few things in the meantime. You can click here and turn on SAP. Now that we tested that it's actually working. And if you want to share it with other people, as I'm doing with you guys, you can click here, copy link. So if you were following along, this is basically it. You don't need to do anything else because we have it turned on. As you can see, it says that it will run every two minutes. So any messages sent to the bots command channel is going to be copied over to that other channel. You can name it if you want to. If you're doing one on your own, I'm just going to leave it like that and then go to my saps, right? I'm going to leave it here for a minute until the message come up. I'm just going to cut it for you guys, of course. And there you go. Now you have a backup of every message sent from one server to another. Remember that you can be featured at the end of this video. So if you have any tutorial ideas, drop them on our Discord server. The link is in the description. I hope this one was helpful. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Have a very good rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe out there.